Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Jonathan with Bay Area Throwbacks, and I'm back with a uh, kind of just like a collection pickup video. So, the time I'm filming this, it is November 28th, so it's the Monday after Thanksgiving. That's not when I'm going to release this video, but um, I just got back last night from the Bay Area, back home. Um, Thanksgiving week, so I was out there the whole week. As a teacher, I had the whole week off, so I was out there. I left the Friday before Thanksgiving, got back the Sunday after Thanksgiving. So I was there for like nine days. Uh, and while I was there, a couple things um, fell into my hands. So let's just get into it. We got um, now most of this is uh, stuff from my uncle Peter. So it's not like stuff that I, I bought, but it's from him, my uncle Peter, who was a security at the Chase Center. And uh, yeah, let's get into. Let me see. We'll start with this right here. I got a uh, it's a Warriors uh, limited edition championship hat. So you got all type of stuff going on here. Snapback. You got the um, gray UV black overvisor. You got the Warriors logo in gold. You got the seventy fifth Jerry West right there because it was the seventy fifth year. You got the trophy right there that the Warriors did win. NBA champions 2021-2022. New era flag. Black. Got the inside. So that's that right there. Um, and then what else we got? Uh, yeah, let me go with everything that he did that I got from him first. Next, he got me a Giants. Uh, or if I'm not mistaken, it was one of his coworkers was able to get it for him. Who I think the security um, other places too, I think. But got me a Brandon Belt um, Captain Bobblehead. And this is from the the giant race bobblehead where they do the giant race. So for, I looked at it one time and I forgot if he's in uniform or if he's in. Here we go. So he's actually. Yeah, he's wearing the jersey, but with some shorts. Got a brand new belt right there. As you can see there, he's on the street, not on uh, the field running. You do got that. And then you got that C that he taped onto his jersey as the, you know, unofficial captain. Then you got Giant. Let me see. If... Giant Race. Man. I don't know. It says Giant Race here. Uh, 2022 San Francisco. Alaska Airlines. All that. He got that. The hat on. Like the, uh, the sailor hat. Or whatever you call it. Gloves. So yeah. Dope bobblehead. New one for the collection. I don't know where I got. I got to start finding more room because I am uh, running out of room for all these bobbleheads. So I got to find places to to places to put them. So for now, I just put them back here with Richard Reilly and Russell Ortiz in the back, chilling. I need to find some more space so for more formal space. So that's that. That was a Giants um, Brandon Belt bobblehead right there. You know what? I'll put this stuff away later. Put it to the side. Got me another bobblehead. <coughs> the Warriors bobblehead, but it's a two player edition bobblehead, duo bobblehead, limited edition, it says, from the 75th year, so last year. Uh, let me see. It is none other than two legends. In the game, two all-time legends and two Bay Area legends, and that is none other than Wilt Chamberlain and Steph Curry. You got Wilt in the Philadelphia Warriors jerseys right there. You got Curry in the in their their version of the jerseys of those jerseys that they wore last year. So you got the thirteen for Wilt, thirty for Curry on the back. If you look at the bottom, you got the 75th year logo right there. 
We got Wilt with his famous holding his, you know, 100 year sign, signifying the 100 um, points he scored in a game back in the day. And then you got Curry holding the 17,818 um, sign here, which was once he uh, scored that uh, that amount of points, um, which was on April uh, uh, 12th, 2021, is when he passed Will Chamberlain actually for the franchise record for points um, scored in the franchise. Um, and so now Curry holds that record, franchise at least wise. And that was a long-standing record held by Mr. Will Chamberlain himself. Now Curry holds it. I'm trying to see this dude's head sideways. I don't know. Now I need to find where to put this one. So this one might just go back here for now. I guess, you know what? I might put them in front and put Tahada and Giambi in the back, chilling for now. I'll find more room for all these guys. But right now, I might have them to the side so you can see them. I don't know, hopefully that's, I got two, I don't know. I gotta find places for all these. So, but yeah, so that's the box right there. So shout out to Uncle Peter. Two dope bobbleheads. What else did I get? So, oh, he just gave me this cool picture of Clay and Curry. You could tell when they were younger right there. And uh, so, yeah, just a picture, you know, young Curry, young Thompson. Dope. Uh, and then the, uh, his co-worker who got me the Brandon Belt bobblehead also got me this cool um, 49ers coin. So it says 2021 49ers. Hopefully you can see it. Then under it, it says values, purpose, promise. Yeah, Levi Stadium. That's Levi better. It's a dope coin. Especially 2021, because uh, as you know, that was a you know, good year for the Niners. They didn't make it to the NFC Championship game. Unfortunately, fell short of their goal, but either way, no fun season to watch for sure. Next, uh, random, but I stopped by the... Um, it was not random that I stopped by here, but that I just got the random pickup. <coughs> the... Um, 49ers I went by Levi Stadium to go to the team store and just see what was there and when I was there they they, uh, they just had some leftover programs from the game before that which was uh, November 13th um, against the Chargers so uh, Sunday night yeah 5 30 5 20 p.m. So Sunday night game yeah so it was pretty cool just free program why not uh, funny I opened the back and first thing I see is Jamie Williams, who was actually my uh, basketball coach in middle school in eighth grade, and my brother's baseball coach. So yeah, he played for the 49ers for a while, uh, played in the league for a while. But yeah, so it was funny just to see. Um, but yeah, so it's pretty cool. And the last thing I got, uh, well, actually two more things, but one I don't have in hand. I got a t-shirt, I don't know if some of you know about baseballism, but it's a cool company that makes like baseball themed clothing. Um, they're all over the place. Um, there's one literally the next block over from the uh, Oracle Park, which is the San Francisco Giants Stadium right there on 3rd Street. And this is a shirt that I've been, I always eye it when I stop by those stores. There's one in Southern California, too, in Irvine. And um, I always see it, this shirt, and I've wanted it, um, but haven't got it. But they were having a, a sale, um, like an early Black Friday sale, and it was like 30% off. So I got the shirt for like 19 bucks or something. And it is the beast right here. You know the Sandlot, which I hope you know. You got the beast with the baseball right there. It's really self-explanatory. Black, nice soft shirt. And that's really it. Black right there. So, and as you see, baseball is right there. They got the Babe Ruth logo. If you're a fan of just baseball, not even teams of baseball, it's just baseball in general. You just you're just a fan of it. Um, of you know the culture of baseball, the game of baseball, the movies, the sport, whatever. You play baseball, played baseball, whatever. Definitely check out Baseballism online, too. Cause they're, if they have a local store near you, go check it out. If not, go online and check it out. They got all type of stuff. So cool theme stuff from baseball movies, uh, players, teams, um, just the culture of baseball, everything. So definitely check them out. It's dope. And then the last thing I got, which I don't have in hand, is um, 
I went by the Giants dugout store and they had a few authentics, very few. They had like four. Um, they had a few of the City Connects, which I don't, not really a fan of, so I didn't, I didn't get one. And then, and these are all blank, by the way. And then they had, it was like four of the orange alternate jerseys they wear with the um, Giants across in cursive. I've been wanting that jersey. They had them all. They had like four of them in a size 52, which it fits me a little long, but those jerseys are naturally kind of long. So it's kind of one I'll, I'll, I'll be wearing with the, um, a sweater. Sweater jersey, you know, game, night games and stuff. So anyways, point being, I got one. It was blank and I left it there with them because they're going to customize it and send it to me. And I got it customized uh, in a Logan Webb, you know, uh, good pitcher for the Giants. Young pitcher from Northern California. So, you know, I decided to get him cust uh, customized to him with the, you know, authentic stitching and everything. So when I do get that back sent to me, I will definitely make a video on it. But until then, I don't have it in hand, but I did get that. That's my Bay Area um, pickups. Got a couple things. Uh, we stopped by all the, I stopped by the uh, Warriors team shop, um, Niners team shop, Giants team shop, Sharks team shop. Those are the pickups. I So really, I didn't pick up anything but that Giants jersey and the baseballism shirt. That wasn't even from a team shop. That was from the baseballism store in San Francisco. I'm tripping. Like, did I really not get anything? Yeah, I really didn't get anything. I did good beside the jersey. Um, but, you know, it's a jersey I'd been wanting. So, you know, it is what it is. But I did get my girl a couple things. Um, you know, but she has them on. So it is what it is. I don't. I got her a, a, a Warriors beanie. A Sharks beanie. A Giants t-shirt. Uh, Sharks. What? Niners, oh, and the Niners hat. That's what I got. So that's that. But anyways, that's everything. That's everything that I came home with from the Bay Area and didn't come home with both. But uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Oh, shout out Uncle Peter because he just keeps hooking me up with a bunch of cool stuff. And I can't uh, thank him enough. Also, by the way, when I was out there, matter of fact, I went to a Sharks game at the SAP Center. Sharks won 5-1 to one against Ottawa. And I went to... My first Warriors game at the Chase Center. You know, I've been to games um, back in Oracle. I've been to games. Um, I've been to a game last season uh, at uh, Crypto.com Arena, which is everyone knows the staples against the Clippers. But this is my first at Chase Center. So that was dope. Dope stadium. Um, but yeah, anyways, thumbs up if you like the video. Thumbs down if you don't. Burp it over here. Subscribe if you're not already. And if you... Are subscribed. Thanks for being here again. I'll see you all next time. Peace.